Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be using a stamping plate to create two different snake nail art designs. The only difference between the two designs is the middle nail where I'll switch up the snake image and I'll also switch up the colors I'll be using to show you how you can create two different looks using the same plate. I'm going to start by applying two coats of Essie's Topless and Barefoot to all of my nails. Next I'm going to stamp on a snakeskin image on my index and pinky nails and for my ring finger accent nail I'm going to mask off half of my nail using a piece of scotch tape. Then I'm going to stamp it on and remove the tape immediately. Next I'm going to use some black rhinestones from Sally Hansen's I Love Nail Art Studs Kit. I'm going to pick it up with a wax pencil, apply a top coat to my ring finger accent nail, and then line the rhinestones right down the middle where I had masked off the image. For the first mani, I'm going to use the same plate and I'm going to stamp this image of a snake with roses. Then I'm going to do some reverse stamping, first using Sally Hansen's rubies and diamonds to color in all the roses. Then I'm going to use this green polish from Born Pretty Store to color in all the leaves. Once I'm done coloring in the image, I'm going to stamp it onto my nail and apply a fast drying top coat. So here is the first snake design, and here's what it looks like with the other nails. For the second design, I'm going to keep all the other nails the same, and I'm only going to switch up my middle nail. Again, I'm going to start off with two coats of Essie's Topless and Barefoot, and then I'm going to stamp this snake image on the top right corner from the same stamping plate. Again, I'm going to do some reverse stamping on this snake, but this time I'm going to use all hearts. She has a heart of gold. Once I'm done coloring it all in, I'm going to stamp it onto my middle nail and then apply a fast drying top coat. Here's the second snake design, and here's what it looks like with all the other nails. So that's all for today's video. As you can see, I switched up just one nail between the two nail art designs, but it completely changed the entire look of the mani. Let me know which one was your favorite by leaving me a comment down in the description box below. If you're interested in the clear jelly stamper that I used in this video, it's from nailstuff.ca and you can get 10% off your purchase using my code MEL10. I also got the stamping plate and the green polish from Born Pretty Store and you can get 10% off your purchase using my code MGL10. I'll have everything I used in this video as well as the discount codes down in the description box below and if you recreate this design be sure to tag me on Instagram at caramelograms so I can see. Anyways that's all for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!